<laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna go build my own glutton with special scope and wyvernhar. In fact, forget any semblance of balance. This gun is dumb. Hello everyone, this is Jinx, one of the Monster Hunter math guys. So, this build is f***ing stupid. And no, I don't mean stupid as in, oh, this isn't optimal. Oh, you should be using these skills instead if you want to get higher damage or more defensive utility, yada, yada, yada. No, I mean stupid as in it's literally the best build to have ever been made in Monster Hunter World. The amount of kill time you get consistently to skill inputs with this build is f***ing stupid. You can easily sub 5 minute Elder Dragons with this build while not knowing how to use the build well. And unlike clusters in high rank, this build is stupidly safe. Clusters always had the issue that if RNG didn't like you, monsters could one-shot you through Rocksteady. Also, clusters were time-limited due to Mantle, so they didn't really work on Arc Tempered monsters very well. But this build works on literally everything and is stupid safe and will probably get you faster clears than your main melee weapon. Okay, so before we get too into talking about this weapon and all of the builds we have available for you today, just a quick reminder, we do have a Twitter where we post updates about videos, our general thoughts, and also little memes we make like the one at the beginning of the video. And Tuna does also stream on Twitch almost every single day. In fact, as soon as this video goes live, Tuna will be live on Twitch, and he just came back from TwitchCon, so he has plenty of stories. Okay, so what build are we talking about? Well, that is the Zenogre Heavy Bowgun Shield build. So this build was originally created by Tatsufi, a very well-known heavy bowgun and light bowgun speedrunner. Link in the top right and description to the original video for this build as well as his channel. So the Zenogre Heavy Bowgun is literally Glutton 2.0. It has the exact same ammo stats for spread 3, so it hits plus 1 recall and an 8 clip with free element 3 as well as 1 recall mod. Except it also gets Wyvern Heart, and in case you didn't know, in base Monster Hunter world, actually the Glutton was not always the best spread heavy bowgun. In fast enough kills, generally under sub 1 minute 30, Horn Heavy Bowgun actually beat Glutton because it had Wyvern Heart. The DPS on Wyvern Heart is so disgustingly high that if the run was fast enough, you actually made up the lost spread damage on Horn Heavy Bowgun over Glutton. But now the Zin Heavy Bowgun also has Wyvern Heart. Oh, and you can still run that one close range mod for 20% higher damage, as well as the recoil mod for faster fire rate while still running three shields. Which leads us nicely into the topic of today's video, the Shield Heavy Bowgun set for the Zenogre Heavy Bowgun. So let's start off by covering Tatsufi's build because it is not the most optimal it can be, however it is much easier to attain than the optimal build. So all of the armor in the game you can attain right after story and you cannot get the Zin Heavy Bowgun until after the story anyway so you get all of these around the same time. The only thing you won't have yet is the Iron Side 5 charm because this does require Master Rank 100 plus materials to get. Either way, you can sub out either of the level 1 decos in this set and still hit 100% affinity on soft and weak points if you want to use guard 5. Now let's talk why guard 5 with 3 shield mods is so important. So 3 shield mods on a heavy bowgun give you the equivalent of a lance shield. When you combine this with guard 5, you get the equivalent of a lance shield with guard 5. What this essentially translates to is the ultimate comfiness in runs. I have literally yet to run into any attack that gave me chip damage when I blocked it with my shield on this heavy bowgun. It's entirely possible there are a few attacks in the game that might give you chip damage, but I barely use this build and have yet to run into one. Now, normally on something like Lance, this would be considered overkill because with Health Augment you can heal up any chip damage you take while blocking. However, Health Augment works terribly with spread ammo because you only heal off of one pellet per shot. So even a tiny amount of chip damage could take you an entire clip to heal up. Now, Heavy Bowgun, just like every single ranged weapon in the game, takes increased damage from monster attacks. So if you start taking chip damage, you'll have to start sheathing every few chips you take, otherwise you'll be in one-shot range if you mess up a block. 
Now, if you want a little bit more damage, you can run other mods on here or sub out some of the guard for other things, but this is about a comfy build. And if you were to switch out the guard charm with, say, an attack boost 4 charm, you would only be dealing about one more damage per pellet. So yeah, running guard 5 doesn't cost us much damage, but does give us a lot of comfiness. Now the main thing that does cost us a lot of damage are the three shield mods. See, if we were to put two more close range mods in instead of two of the shields, that would take us from a 20% close range damage bonus to a 35%, which works out to a 12.5% damage bonus, which is pretty significant. And of course, we can't use the special scope, which is a 30% damage bonus, but that, that's a whole nother topic for a whole different video. But the difference of those three mods is why a full damage is in no Ogre Heavy Bowgun set will be dealing 46.25% more damage just from the mod loadouts. Now this sounds like a lot of damage loss, and it is, but uh, <laughs> on a 60 hit zone value monster, on average this will be dealing 31 damage per pellet, which is 217 per shot. Now, a plus one recoil, which a recoil mod gives us, gives us a 0.8 second fire rate. The reload time is a 2.33 second fire rate, so assuming uninterrupted firing, this has 198.85 DPS. Now, how high is that? What does it beat? Well, on similar hit zone values, it out DPSs every weapon in the game except for Pep CB's SAEDs, Pep SA's combos and sword mode, bow, dual blades, and also aerial gunlands and aerial hammer and of course some other heavy bowgun builds. Basically, this beats everything except for the best DPS rotations in the game. And it gets a lance shield with guard 5 and guard up. And other than your reloads taking a while, your shots have only 0.8 seconds animation commitment. This means you basically can always block attacks that are about to hit you as long as you're not reloading. And it also has Wyvern Heart, which based off of the old motion bias from high rank puts it at a 280.49 DPS as long as you hit the same target. Now, I have not tested to see what the new Wyvern Heart motion values look like in Icebomb, but I'm sure they didn't get nerfed. And this doesn't even include a Wyvern Heart mod. Did I mention this has a Lance Shield with Guard 5 and Guard Up? This gun is stupid. Okay, let's talk about the next build, which is going to be the optimal set. So this set does require a lot more endgame gear and does require you to have a guard 5 charm because you just don't have the spare slots to slot in guard instead. But this set does gain attack boost 4 and 2 agitator over the previous set. While monsters that are agitated and you are hitting a softened weak point, you will get exactly 100% affinity. Now the extra true roar from both agitator and attack boost will count to roughly 2 more damage per shot dependent on hit zone values. This pushes us up to 211.6. 8 DPS, which is very high. I don't think I need to keep explaining why this bowgun is just disgusting, but yeah. Little side note, this is also the exact same armor loadout you would run on a full damage setup. Quick side note, we don't run offensive guard on any of these builds because yes, you can run offensive guard on shield heavy bowguns, but they're a little difficult to use. See, offensive guard requires you to perfect block something, which means block it at the last second. The problem is your heavy bowgun shield is always considered active as long as you're facing in that direction. So there are only two ways to proc offensive guard on a shield heavy bowgun. The first is to fire a shot and then as your recovery frames are finishing to tank an attack with your shield, but the timing for this is really finicky. The more reliable way is to turn in a different direction and then turn into the attack the moment it's about to hit you with your shield. But this is kind of a weird technique and isn't really good for comfy runs, which is the point of this build. This is more of a high level big brain strat sort of thing. Okay, let's talk about the last build. So for once, we're actually going to be doing a poverty build in one of these videos. We don't normally cover these kinds kinds of builds, however, I want to do it in this video just to illustrate that even without decorations, this gun is stupid. So with absolutely no decos in this and a guard level 3 charm instead of level 5 charm, we can still hit guard 5, weakness exploit 3, along with spread shots up. And also the guard upset bonus. Now, the reason why we prioritize getting spread shots in here instead of crit boost is because it actually gives us more damage returns. Spread shots up gives us a 10% total raw damage increase on all of our spread shots. This is actually more damage than we would get out of crit boost 2 with 100% affinity, so it's really nice. 
The second level of spread shots up only gives us 15% instead of 10%, so that's a 4.5% total increase. This is less attractive, but it's still a higher percent damage increase than any level of single crit boost with 100% affinity. So second level of spread up is still very valuable if you have the deco to fit it. But yeah, this build is missing a second level of spread up, it's missing critical boost, it's missing critical eye, so we only have 65% affinity on softened weak points. But despite that, it still does 26 damage per pellet at least on the 60 hit zone value, which puts it at 153.16 DPS with a 6 clip. That's higher than like half of the weapons in the game get with their optimal DPS meta sets. This gun is stupid. And just to clarify, when I say stupid, I don't mean it's a bad gun or anything. Obviously, it's ridiculously good. But this gun is beyond overtuned. At least clusters had this RNG factor to them and you could get one-shotted by tempered monsters and it didn't really work against arc tempered monsters unless you were very skilled at using them. But this gun is able to kill things faster than half of the weapons in the game without decorations, with a lance shield, with god 5, with basically no learning curve. You just point it at the face and mash R2 and stop mashing R2 when thing is about to hit you. This gun is stupid. Okay, that is all I have for you on this video, everyone. I really hope you do enjoy the builds and try out this gun, because it is a lot of fun to use. I just think it's grossly overtuned. Thank you, as always, for checking out the video, and if you have any friends who are interested to learn about the stupid gun that has a big-ass shield, be sure to share the video with them. If you enjoyed the video yourself, be sure to like the video and let us know in the comment below what you enjoyed about it. It really does help. Thank you, as always, to Honey over at HoneyHunterWorld.com for creating and maintaining the tools we use to make sets with. Her builder is where all these beautiful build cards came from. Also, a huge shout out to Tatsufi who originated this heavy bowgun shield build. Tatsufi is an insane heavy bowgun and light bowgun speedrunner. If you want to see what really clean, well calculated heavy bowgun runs look like, go check out his channel. Link in the top right and the description. And if you would like to join me in reading about the Zenogra heavy bowgun, then we do have a Discord server, the Mathless Nest. We also do have Iceborne specific channels so PC players don't get spoiled. And don't forget, we do have a Twitter where we post updates about videos and various memes we make and Tuna does also stream live on Twitch almost every single day. In fact, he will be live as soon as this video goes live, so be sure to go show him some love. And of course, none of this will be possible without the generosity of our patrons. And it's the first of the month, you know what that means, full Patreon callouts. So, an especially huge thank you to Furay, Alex Sanchez, Yoshi Cho, Flight, David Sternberg, XCLK07, Holcanis, Gilgi, Serena, David Ju Sinclair, Bird Lord, John Cohen, Sinful by Nature, Rain Curtain, Warren Kios, Hensatsugen, Papa Slatch, Wed Manticore, Justin Sedita, Milky Powder, Superfly, Bram Orsol, Palmito, Roddy Raw Dog, Anti Spartan, Lightweight, Javik, The Local, Sam, Lost and Confused. PB Livingston, Flagoblast, Skylar Yang, Miguel Lopez, Mongus, Kumiko, Triple Agent, Matty T, Augusta Oliveira, Caracas, Zarashi, Fancy, Ryan Gates, Alan O'Dom, Baguette, Zimv, Sir Kite, Vangor82, Brew, Billy Barthol, Mali, Yordi Cosmopara, Ramos, Lord K2, Dandy, Captain Walmart, Magister Obscura, Scott Dobros, Jamie, and every single one of you who supports us on Patreon. If it were up to me, we'd be doing this callout at the end of every video, but you did vote to make sure it only happened once a month instead. We really do appreciate it, we cannot do what we do without you guys. Your support not only constantly drives us to do our best, it's also been a huge motivator for me for this past month since I've been putting out like a video a day. I guess it's just rewarding to know that y'all love our content so much you're willing to directly support us. And this does help me push through the grind to make sure y'all get the high quality content that you all deserve. So even though this math robot cannot emote super well, thank you again. Alright, that is all we have for this one. If you enjoy our content, we do have plenty more Iceborne content out on the way soon. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know as soon as any new videos come out. Happy hunting, hunters! I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Your attacks tickle my shield. It is totally balanced that I can have a god 5 lance shield and do this much damage still.